Hello everyone and welcome to episode 11 of my Lord of the Rings Dwarves of Khazadum Let's Play on Divide and Conquer. So this is the new chapter really. Uh, I've been playing on a little bit for the last 5-10 minutes. Nothing much. What I've done is ended a couple of turns and I've besieged this place. Uh, Erwin Rune and uh, Erwin Dolan. Dolan. And then I've also... Um, Raiments of Angmar, if you look carefully, I'm not at war with them anymore. Uh, that's because they actually offered me uh, a ceasefire and I was gonna do the like the yield let's ask them for money and they'll give us money and we'll have a ceasefire and then attack them again but I think it was actually fixed for this patch so uh, what I did instead was I uh, I asked for a settlement just randomly because they kept declining my money offers um, and then they gave me this place <laughs> so uh, we have this place it's completely fucked and pointless Something to investigate. oh there's a battle here so I, I don't really know Continuing tomorrow. what's going on uh, with that I don't know why they gave it to me I don't know I guess it's a smart move by the AI because it's not really a place it really needs when I also think I also figured out how much uh, like regions they have left they have two now I believe I took one of them from them and they only had three available or it might have been four I can't remember already I didn't really pay much attention to it so uh, in the next turn we're also gonna take this place as you can see and we've got two turns so they surrender here um, if I can make them surrender that's probably the best idea I don't want to lose any more dwarves stupidly um, and also I've been asked for two candidate adoptions here so these are uh, two generals and I'm sending uh, Lord Baver up here uh, for a reason. He has the doctor trait and if I put him in another army uh, there's a good chance that the two armies will be able to re like recover their strength better uh, which is definitely something I I'm wanting. So it's two turns for that, one turn for that so I think we should take them without a fight. I really don't see the enemies wanting to put up a fight and fight us back. I don't know the AI doesn't seem to do that anyway. I've also built a catapult uh, maker there. I would love to get some catapults in. This place is stabilized now for the meantime and Dol Gulder is within uh, rights of doing it. So we're gaining good money per turn um, and I really should let a couple of turns pass as my armies move on and attack uh, different places because it means my army will grow and then I can build more units and then I can go attack Dunland uh, which is probably my next area to attack because I'm running out of enemies to fight here. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I don't think there we go. See, we just uh, we just got it. Coins to be amassed. We'll just sack it. I don't know if they've got a general. Will they attack? I have no idea where Shadow of Mordor are now. If I'm, if I'm honest, civil revolt. Oh, okay. Now, I got there too late. I got there too late. So I've lost that place. Oh, shite. What are these guys doing? Can I move the rest of my army back? I have no idea there was enemies there in Gundabad. And I can't. Ah, uh, shite. We maybe attacked a Gundabad, which would be a terrible thing. Uh, I'm gonna have to march my units back. Can we make any units there? No, we can't. That's awful. Shite. If I could get my units in, if they don't attack me for another turn, then I have some defense for it. Uh, I've got to pray that they don't attack me there, to be honest. So we've got another two turns for this army to die. Uh, what am I going to do here? Most of it's elves and northmen. I can't do anything, actually. It's such a terrible settlement. It's just like, it's there for having it. Um... Yeah, I just build a watchtower there. I'm gonna have to put 
stuff out. This is owned by someone else anyway. Or no, is this owned by me? Yes, it is. So I can put outposts up here. Um, I can also send my spy on his way because Shadow and Mirkwood aren't gone. There's a place there, I believe their final place, maybe here. Uh, I'm not too sure, I haven't checked. And now that we've got one more turn, I believe, until I'm going to start to build an army uh, that will go and attack places. Oh god, alright. Please, Rangman of Angmar, just don't attack us, for the love of god. Just walk past us, please. Come on. Come on. This is... Oh, thank God. Whew. Good thing they offered me a ceasefire. Uh, I... I Aye, Lord. Or thank, overrun. It's interesting. That means Rohan is doing considerably well. Our enemies call me Death Incarnate. Yeah, that's... Yes, my king. On my way. What you want. It's really not good, actually, because they're they're people we need to take down. So really, the good factions are really being destroyed right now. We have eleven. Um, yeah, there's nothing else. There's nothing really to keep me up in this area. I also recruit one of these guys uh, because why not? I'm going to take them out and back and then we, they might be able to retrain somewhere. Okay, now we've got a ton of money. I'm going to start to recruit some really good units. 11 and 19, 11 and 20. These Dwarf Axemen are very good. Uh, these guys, as you can tell, are very good. I'm going to recruit some Iron Guards. Iron Guards are fantastic. And uh, some of those guys. So we will be making a new army. Uh, I do need some crossbowmen, actually. I've no, I've got these kinds of dumb reclaimers. I wonder what have we got armor-wise? Dum ba dum ba ba bum bum bum. Nothing. I guess they don't need armories. Uh, I would love something to boost their attack to make them completely overpowered, but I don't think that will happen. I lord. Not accessible, sire. We've marched our limit. So Zag Cal is gonna get a new person soon. We have a good army here right now. We can build good units. Dwarven warriors are five and ten. Yeah, they're nice. Get some of these guys. Get an archer. We're doing well. We're in the building stages now. I think of of the game um, and even though you're gonna see me pass a lot of turns and perhaps not get a battle um, I think it's worth it really just just for the general progression of the game I don't think any of the factions here are gonna attack us and I don't think we should attack them but I do need to have clear route of where we're gonna go to and where we're gonna attack next so we've occupied that settlement too uh, I'm just gonna Occupy it. There's no point in ravaging through their people. So we have Mirkwood now essentially and as you can see they're attacking the Latash That's Perfectly fine. I would rather they take that than the other place. So they're gonna take that back Oh, An invasion call for Isengard. That's gonna be brutal. I'm actually kind of glad that's happening I'm gonna stick you. We're gonna build another army to take back Latash right now, so uh, it's, it's alright, it's okay, it's good. See, we can build more men here. It's a shame that we can't... Extra wall defenses. We can only build one unit. Recruitment slots allowed. It's awful, actually. Ooh, we were gained with more money. So as you can see here, our men are coming in nice and clean. 
Very nice, very nice. Two turns left for them. It's going to take us a while to recruit men, of course, or dwarves even. I believe the last uh, Regnum's Magma army is here. And we're going to have to go into Mordor, pretty much. We have this place as well, which means we can just leave. We can leave, like, a unit of men there. Oh, we can head off now. I really need to bring my spy over. I'm going to put out a watchtower there. Very good, very good. We own a substantial chunk. We own this mountain bit. Um, it's going to be very interesting. I'm going to keep my spy here. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, that's hilarious. Good, good, good. Something to invest in. Be thankful you can call me an ally. Jesus Christ, he's tough, eh? That's not gonna be a good uh, person to turn on, I can tell you that. So we can put this guy in Zach Cal. Building another army here. We're gonna go out and attack them. Brute force. I think the... Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to send place men from Dane's Halls. An army barracks would be sweet. Because right now we've only got barracks. So, uh, well, we can get vault wardens and stuff like that. But with this, we can get... Oh, no, wait. Well, what? With this, we can get the dragon slayers of Arid Mythin. I dare. I dare. <laughs> what have we got here? An army barracks. We can do the Hammers of Gundabad once we get more uh, culture. Sweet. They're going to have such good units being pumped out of them. Ooh, I wonder if I pass through Dale lands, I will be able to get some Dale cavalry. Dale cavalry would be um, an amazing feat. Um, so as you can see, yeah, we're allies with a lot of people. Allies with a lot of people. And, like, the, for example, the Vale of Anduin. Oh, their allies are only with us. Ooh, we could totally attack them. We could totally attack them. I'm thinking about it. They would be... That would be great. I need to know where they are, though. Where is my spy? I'm gonna leave the army there. Then I'm gonna. My lord speaks highly. Would you greetings, most noble ally? Speak to our dignitaries. Easterlings are over here. At your service. On my way. This shall not see. If I can pull this army through, that would be awesome. Then I can just attack them. Uh, <laughs> it's very nasty of me, but it's got to be done. I think. So they're going to take Latash. It's going to be a horrible, horrible battle. I don't even think I'll fight it. There's no point. I'm not too bothered by them taking it either. Captain Gorgal. Meh, I guess we could fight it, actually. Every little helps in this circumstance. They've got some ladders and stuff like that. Let's give it a go. This might be the only battle I'm able to show you for for this episode, and it's a shame because when all the battles, all the battles I end up do losing sometimes are just shitty ones that the AI is given to me. Even though I, I do the same thing for them. So as you can see, we've been given two armored defenders. I fucking hate how this works, right? Just. I'm going to put all of them. Come on. I want to put all of them in shield wall. I'm going to kind of edge them forward. So they're going to sit at the door.
so we're already firing off at them. We're not going to be doing that much damage to them, but they only have some light infantry, medium infantry, uh, medium, medium, medium. So we've also got medium, but theirs is not very good. Their army is just in general not very good. Be nice if we could kill some of them here, though. And the game is just freaking out. Frames white rate wise, it's kind of like I hate it when it does this. It kind of like does that kind of flickering thing. Like FPS is perfect. Oh, they're coming over the walls as well. I hate that. I'm gonna march my general up there. Actually, yes, we've killed two men. My life is complete with these two men kills. <sighs> Two men kills. That's all we get. I'm just gonna move my headset. See, my microphone is always to the right side of me, so that's why my voice always looks weird. Because I'm talking, I'm talking in front of me, but my microphone is not in front of me. I really need to get like one of those stands that just sort of like you can just put in front of you, so I can have my mic kind of like in front of me, under me. Over here, we've also killed- no, none of them. Yeah, none of them. Where does the pop filter go, actually, on my thing? Ah, uh, it belongs on the actual stand, okay. So as you can see, our dwarves are gonna hit them. Ooh, uh, we don't really have a chance in hell of winning this, but <laughs> I think it would be interesting to see something. Okay. No, come back. We've lost one man. No. One dwarf dead. Two dwarf dead. And they've lost a lot more. As you can see, their men are just dropping quickly. So are our men, though. Uh, this units of of orcs are just getting destroyed. <laughs> Dwarf power! Oh crap, are they piling another unit up? Yeah, our dwarves are just slowly getting destroyed by this unit. We're not enough. We're not enough. They're just not enough. We've managed to kill 9% of their army though, so we're certainly giving them a, a run for their money. Nope, okay, here we go. Here's the pile in. You, you can hear the sound effects. <laughs> Come on, stand tall, dwarves. Holy crap. We've managed to kill almost 20% of their army. That's like 200 men, I think, or they've got 1,000. So, as you can see... We're doing it. We're certainly killing them. They're marauding towards us. They're gonna kill our men. It's not too much of an issue. Only a military genius could win this battle. I don't even think a military genius could win this battle with 34 men. Oh wow. And we're still fighting on. Just just fight them to the last. Fight them to the last man. You guys you guys are the sole defenders of this place. Our general's still alive, that's a good thing. Our general shames us all. He flees. Nope, he flees. He flees. And as you can see here, we're fighting outside of it because I'm hoping when we retreat, we've lost. We have been dealt a there we go. Today. So even though we lost a little bit more men than them, they lost a hell of a lot of men as well. Yeah, and at least this unit here actually took out more men than they got killed from. So <laughs> my hats are off to them. 
Poor dwarves. I'm afraid that's just about we we couldn't win that. They have a general there as well. We all know what their generals are like. I shouldn't have taken that place in the first place. I really should have left it. But um, it's okay. It's, it's certainly it's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, it just means that I'm going to go back and attack, take it from them again. I just didn't want my allies just coming in and completely taking all of it. I really need to take my armies out now and attack them. We've got another little so a little while or so till we can move out I did want another crossbowman yeah I want one more crossbowman and our army is good My I'm definitely gonna have to look in to attacking these guys I can't have their men behind my lines though Vale of Anduin are very weak though they're very weak human faction I am but an ally. and I want to oh they're cavalry no skin charger changers they are a very very deadly uh, unit and it makes me feel sad that I don't have cavalry um, they are going to be the worst thing to fight probably looking at their oh wow okay I can put a stronghold there that's gonna be amazing that's the first time I've seen an upgrade that I can put on a place in a total or uh, third age game yet yeah, I think that's amazing we can finally upgrade the place so we can build new uh, buildings and get better men acquainted there eventually maybe this unit can go yeah this, men, this army can go and attack them I'm gonna come once this thing comes I'm gonna completely attack them I've got men ready from all areas Zag Cal I need to get spies out into the open so we can see what they're doing um, I need to know what their men situation is like before we attack them. So as you can see here, uh, Isengard's attacking. If I was them, I think they've they've got it. I think they've got they've got it back. Okay, right. So there's not really much more we can do. That was the only battle we're probably going to get for this episode. Um, however, this army is looking good. It's growing. It's growing. I want another crossman there as well. Oh shit, I shouldn't have pulled men out. Uh, they've got so many like f different places though. It's going to freak them out when we do decide to attack them. We have to send a diplomat to inform them of our badness, so... We're going to shatter their dreams and hopes. Is I hope they have a capital that we can build stuff from. Really, right now, it's just capturing places for the fact we need places to capture. Yeah, you want us to take Latash. I'm sorry, that's not happening. You got a of service? Of course, sire. Yes, sire. We're also going to attack the Gladrim. But I don't know who they are... Uh, happy with right now. It's going to take two turns to make these guys. Hmm. Two more units. I guess I could have another archers. Right. Yeah, once that's done, I'm going to take my army out. We're going to go attack some armies of Northern Dunedain. Or... Done lending, sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Dunedain. I saw it. Oh, now they're gonna come attack. Bollocks. What bollocks? What? I lord. I saw it. They're probably gonna attack that place in the next turn. And it's gonna be really annoying because I want to take it back again. I'm just gonna siege them out for it. Speak to our 
So, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode soon, but holy oh, shit. Oh my god. That is a big army. Jesus Christ. I can't, like, I can't. I can't do anything to any of these armies. It's really sucky. Their only enemies are Shadow of Markwood, and Shadow of Markwood are down here. So. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Right, let's end the turn again. I'm gonna definitely gonna attack them. They're, they're so weak. And it would like link all my areas together. Um, but they're gonna be a pain to take care of. It's gonna be a pain to take care of, yeah. And I'm only gonna have one army that's gonna head down the way to attack, attack them. And then I can have reinforcements coming up. Yeah, this is a good idea. I like this idea. Um, I know it's kind of mean in the sense that it's not really lore friendly, but the dwarves need to expand. They're too powerful. Too powerful. So as you can see, I'm kind of like, kind of like, just following these guys around. What does that art guy think he's gonna do? An ally has to come to us as well to inform them of deceit. One more turn and we can move these guys out. Is that two more spots I've got? No, it's not. Shite. Ah, shit. They'll be begging for their lives soon. March! I am but an ally. The Lamdras are attacking. What have they got there? That's not their unit. Dunedain Warriors. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't attack them. Maybe they can't take that. Yeah, they probably can. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'll help them attack it though. I am but an ally, Lord. I might Hail them. Well met. No. Mm, okay, so money-wise, I can't really spend any more because I have everything set in stone now, building-wise. If I was to take. Karis Gladhorn, like, in a turn or two. Like, if that army was still there, it would just become a, a rebel army. And it would disband. Your forces attack an army of Angmar Rengments. If I, like, fight this, they'll take it. So, I'm gonna withdraw. That means they're gonna withdraw, and then, so when they come and attack me, they're gonna have to. <laughs> oh, I fucked up our allies now. Yeah, I fucked them up. <laughs> so it was a good thing I didn't fight that because if I was to fight that, it would be given to Elandrus elves. Okay, Boren, new family member Boren. Awaiting your command. Of course, sir. Oh shit! Oh, now they put more men in here. Ooh, they've got some of these guys. Long-ranged missiles, eh? They are long bowmen. It's stuff they don't have. We don't have as long bowmen. Okay, this army is good to go. It is a full, complete army. Uh, I just want this unit to die now. I don't know why. It's just, uh, it's not helping me anymore. I don't even know what I'm going to leave behind. Probably, if I'm honest, these Axemen of Erebor. Because out of all of them, they're the weakest. How long is it going to take me to get to this place? Set watches. We, rest here. we have military access. Okay, that's fine. Four turns till they surrender. That's also fine. Let's let them attack. And I'm going to end the part soon. Keep saying that. I'm going to end it soon. I really need to check the area. At your service. On my way. 
so many forces well sitting in our areas. Uh, it's kind of annoying right now. I'm going to put a watchtower here. I just want to take them out piece by piece. I don't want to have to, to fight them all over the place. So let's end a turn. I'm just wasting turns now. I really need to get some action going. I need to constantly be fighting places. I need like catapults so I can attack. Karis Gladhorn, like a ballista or something. Two ballistas. And I could take them out in one, one turn. If they lose both their regions in a turn, uh, I think it should wipe them out. Without a fight. And when I attack the Ents, it's going to be even worse because I don't have any units that have flaming uh, units. I would need uh, Ballista. Aye, yes, yeah, it's going to take me even another Aye, turn. What the hell? What do these guys have? Hmm. It looks like they throw bombs. Stewer sheriff. Stewer sheriffs. Do they throw bombs? I'm very, 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 very confused by what that is. Hundred and seventy. Missile attack one. Okay, nope, they're not very good. That's their giant army. Okay, right. Last turn. Promise I need to get everything in order before I attack them for the next turn. Oh, I don't think they have much armies, but they're going to be in a real shock. They're gonna be in a real shock. I'm gonna just destroy them. Oops. Okay. Successful invasion, of course. Thank God they took it. Or thank reclaimed. It, it just gives me an army. It gives me something to fight against. Uh, and it means that, you know. They didn't do too well to take it. it. It means... Whoa, 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 where's all my money gone? <gasps> I've lost so much money to army upkeep and taxes. And wages. <gasps> no, to keep this army afloat, it's gonna kill me. What? Three, three... Three projected tools minus three thousand two hundred and and one. Oh, painful this is. I can't have this army anymore. It's just it's too painful. All that wasted money in recruiting them, and it's, it's just gone to like that. So we're we're losing five hundred. Man, we can never have giant armies. See, that's why we need to attack them. They have no generals, though. I don't understand. My lord, of course, sir. What? Where is their place? Roscoe Bell. We have a general here. Too much men. Right, I'm going to end the episode here, actually. It's, it's a bit of a downer towards the end, but I have so many troops. Um, maybe I shouldn't go and attack Dunlending. I should just have this army come on, like up north and attack them all here. It's like I have to have one faction attack all of it. It's, it's, it's quite annoying, actually. But I think 
yeah, I think it's not worth having two armies to attack. I'm going to have to move this army back up, and it's going to take me a couple of turns. It's going to take me ages, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, painful. Okay, right. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This has been more of like a update building kind of episode. But anyway, I'll be back soon once I have some plans of what I'm going to do. Actually, I've got to think about what I'm going to do. Uh, in terms of how gameplay is going, though, it's good. I like the units I've got. I like what I'm going to get uh, eventually as well with some specialized Dwarven units. But yeah, it's uh, me signing off for now. Thank you guys for watching.